in this lesson, it's time to stop and reflect on making reflections. So tell you what, since this works so well for us up here, green and red eye, let's make another local album for our reflection images. So click the plus sign right there and call it Reflections. That makes sense. Drag over two. I'll show you two different images. One is the candle. That should be pretty straightforward. And the other one is, well, this one right here. That's going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, those two. Click OK. Come over here and select Reflections Local Album. Control A. And click down here and bring them into Photoshop Elements Editor. Here we go. Now I think we'll start with the candle. So I'm in guided mode. I'm going to go down here to the photo bin and double click on it right here. And we don't need a before and after. That gives us more room to see this too. Let's go in over here. Again, guided mode. All the way down at the bottom, you'll see reflection. Now can I do a reflection in expert mode? And the answer to that, of course, is yes. Of course you can. But if you don't know all the steps, this is a good place to get started. Number one. Add Reflection. Now watch what it does. It flips the image and makes a copy of it. That's it. Well, that is a reflection. Number two, I want to fill these areas in with a color that will blend in with this. In other words, that color. So I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool, number two. Click up here. Number three, fill the background. One, two, three, four, five. What type of reflection do you want? Floor, glass, or water? Now we're going to use water on the girl. Let's do floor. Come in here and select it, and watch what happens. It thinks floor should be Gaussian blur. How much do you want to blur? It's up to you. Now, three to me is a little bit too intense. I'm going to go down to about a two. And of course, if you can't get exactly the number you want, you can always stop and type it in up here. And click OK. All right, there. We got a little Gaussian blur on that thing. Number five is intensity. You could also call this transparency. And if I move that, I can change, in a sense, the intensity of what we're doing. I'm going to stop right about there. Distortion, watch what distortion does. It kind of like shrinks it up vertically. Well, if you were looking at this at an angle, you wouldn't see exactly the same thing underneath it. It would be distorted. And we can finish up by cropping out anything we don't want. Right about there. Take off just a little piece like that. There you go. Not all that great, I wouldn't say, but it is a reflection, and we did go through all the steps. The girl might be a little bit more interesting. So let's go into Photo Bin. Let's go into the girl right here and go through the same steps. Reflection. Here we go. Start at the top. Add Reflection. Number two, I want a color to fill that in that looks like the street. So I drop a tool over here somewhere. Fill the background. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's come down. This is going to be water. So we have two steps here. One is the ripple effect. We're going to leave that at 95, but I'm going to make that large. And click OK. And the next is motion blur. Now, we do have a preview on this one, so we can watch it. Maybe something like that. Click OK. Now, let's come down. Intensity. I'm going to leave it right about there. Now, distortion, watch the reflection. It compresses it vertically. And again, if you were looking at something from a different angle, she would not be as tall as a reflection as she would be in real life. Now, you keep doing that. Every time you do it, it changes. Now let's come down here and crop out what we don't want. Actually, I'm going to go to right about there. There you go. Another reflection. Let's do this this time. Let's save these. I'm going to go into expert mode and then click the little button right here. And of course, it'll say, do you want to save it? I want to. It's going to give it an edited symbol. Everything else is fine. Click save. And let's do the same thing to our candle. Just click here to turn it off. It'll ask if you want to save it. Say save. And there we are in our version set, which is just really a glorified stack. And we got them. Reflections in the guided mode are actually pretty easy. There's not really much to it, and it guides you step by step. But then again, that's what guided mode is.